Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock. We're at the entrance to level 8, which really serves one purpose. We're on our way to the bridge, level 9, and we have to pass through level 8, the security level, to get there. You may recall that last time we set the reactor to self-destruct, and we're now trying to get to the bridge before Shodan detaches it. I, however, made a mistake. Well, not so much a mistake. Completionist that I am, even though I don't actually need to, I'm loath to leave any level security on the lower levels of Citadel Station. The good news is, I found both missing pieces. I missed one camera on the flight deck, and you'll see why the reactor level stumped me so bad when I get there. I'm sorry about the alarm, it's freakishly loud, I know, but let's begin with the flight deck. Bounce back to the executive elevator to get there. Now the camera I missed isn't actually in a difficult spot at all. It's just up in the corner of this room. I just didn't spot it because I was never up close to that wall. Obviously, we have to shoot it just because it's so far away, but with that camera destroyed, Deck 5 security drops to zero. Take the freight elevator back to the maintenance level. We'll just whip through it. And here we can head down to level R. I have new mail. Shodan 08. What have you done? If you take insult, if I am to die, then I will avenge myself on you. My cybernetic children will feed on your flesh. Will feed on your flesh. And none will ever know your deeds or even your name. Enjoy your victory, human, for the remainder of your short <laughs> There we go, new mail from Shodan. Now you'll notice that this doesn't flag anything on the map and doesn't look like anything else I've seen, but small CPU. Several whacks with the rapier destroy that small CPU and drop the reactor level security down to zero. So before we go, let's visit the power station and the surgery machine one last time. Now that the station behind us is clear of security, I feel much better about leaving. We'll head up to the executive level. Go from here to engineering. And I'll make the same quick run back to Security level. It would help if I went the right way, though. There we go.
All right. That's much better. Now, as far as the security level goes, much like the flight deck, I don't have to worry about respawn here. However, there's a huge game change in that there is no resurrection station on level 8 or on level 9. We finally have to stay alive. Death is death is death for the rest of the game. So I'm finally going to start using all of those meta patches and first aid kits I've been hoarding. All right. Girin, November 1st, 2072. Security level, but it's a fortress. Elevator's gone. Have to go up the central shaft of the bridge. There's a control here somewhere that activates the force bridge across the shaft. All right. So we need to be careful. That should, I mean, that should be obvious. I'm gonna start using guns now too. As much as I love the laser rapier. Warning. Bridge separation process initiated. All unnecessary personnel, clear the level. I'm gonna start using guns. It's not really practical to hoard ammo anymore, either. So, I see flyer robots up above me. Oh, and look, there's a mutated cyborg. above me, and I can't get my hacker to look any, to change his angle any. Which is annoying. Inability. There we go. To aim at that flyer of was really getting me down. But I got him. He dropped pistol ammo, which, you know, that's good. That's useful. Alright, there's another flyer. I'm hopeful I can get that one with the mag pulse.
awesome. The flyers got nothing. The mutated cyborg dropped two large slag clips for the scorpion. That's good. All right, there's another mutated cyborg. Let's gun him down. There's another flyer. Down it goes. Drops an AM Hornet clip. Awesome, I guess. There's another mutated cyborg. I tagged him with the Magnum, since I'm already starting to run low on assault rifle ammo, but I'm drowning in Magnum bullets. Figuratively, you know. You guys know, you're not stupid. There's another Mark III assault rifle. There's an assassin. <laughs> that mutated cyborg dropped large slag and a meta patch. That one drops heavy slugs for the magnum. Awesome. Almost walked right into another mutated cyborg. Alright, we got him. That's good. We got repulsors. And before that awful screen shake, I saw another cyborg. There he is. There's a flyer. Got it. Standard pistol bullets, how nice. All right. And there's a cyborg assassin. That mutated cyborg had a meta patch. All right. I'm hopeful. Things are calm enough. I can start poking around in here. Let's check 
the central tower first. There's a cyborg enforcer right through there. Metapat and the stamina up. All good things to have. Another service door leads back outside. Let's check the storage door. Look. First aid kits, batteries, and the version 3 lantern upgrade. Hooray! Alright, let's get behind this four store next. I was hoping that would turn out a little better than it did, but that's okay. Knowing there's no respawn is just a huge comfort, even if the enemies themselves are actually pretty strong. Another storage room door. We've got four EMP grenades. along with a battery and a fire extinguisher. Alright, let's check the other doors in the central tower. We've got a battery on the floor. Here's a power station. Lovely. In here, we've got a worker helmet, a lump of clothes. Nothing behind the cabinet. Oh, there's a hidden battery pack. Nothing inside the cabinet. Here we have a log. Stevens, February 11th, 2072. All security maintenance personnel. When the security two bots recharge in the maintenance bay, it drains power from some of the auxiliary systems, like lighting and the automatic doors. In an emergency, you can hit the charge interrupt button to bring the lights and door lock back online and reactivate the robots. Well, that doesn't sound wise at all. I'm sure we'll have to do it, but... Okay, I think that's it as far as the central tower goes. So let me, before I start messing around with repulsor lifts, let me check out the one straightforward room along the outer perimeter over here. Not much, just two heavy slug clips and Teflon pistol clip. Alright, time to start messing with repulsor lifts. I say we try this one first. Blocked by Shodan level security. Okay. Never mind. Here, just to help me keep track, let's start at the entrance to the level and work my way to the right. Starting here, we have an active repulsor. Okay, I need a security access card before this does me any good. All right. 
Next. Is the one we're locked out of by level security. So, let's try this one. Extraction. <gasps> and there's an assassin. That's probably the one that tagged me earlier. Got him. Very good. I think I'll use my ion beam since there's a power station very close by. All he had was pistol bullets. I don't need them. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> Extraction. <laughs> An enforcer cyborg and a flyer. Enforcer Cyborg drops large slag clip and a meta patch. I see an assassin waiting just around the corner to ambush. Get the drop on him instead. Pick up his Teflon coated pistol clip and destroy this camera. Drop level security to 98%. And I'm gonna go hit the charge station. Alright, now let's keep checking out this hallway. Door, door. Force door blocks a repulsor lift. An executive door, an executive door, and a camera. Level security is down to 96%. Alright, let's take the first door, the storage room door. Group B access level required. Okay, let's try the executive door then. Pretty straightforward desk. Nothing behind the cabinets. We had a first aid kit. Here we have a meta patch. That switch probably moved the camera. But we destroyed the camera. Oh no, it also disabled that four store. Let's try the interrogation room. Enforcer Cyborg has nothing. Three cameras. 94%. 92%. 90%. And a corpse. Which has... The Group B access card and the Berserk Combat Booster. Since there's a first aid kit sitting in here, I'll heal up with one of those and replace it. Let's try the other executive door next. Mutated Cyborg dropped a meta patch. This is just another office. First aid kit hiding under the desk. Over here we've got a mag pulse and two mag pulse cartridges. The corpse has a version 3 shield, which we already had. 
Well, I guess we should check out this repulsor lift. Over here, we've got another first aid kit, a stamina up stimulant, and a genius mind enhancer. There's an assassin I took out earlier. Got a standard pistol clip on him. We see energy drain mines there. I wonder if I can destroy them. Looks like no. Yeah, I don't want to waste that ammo. Alright, well, let's see about this big room. We got a camera. This is monitoring. We got two cameras. Security down to 88, then 86%. See an enforcer cyborg over here. Drop the stamina up. I want a couple of things. I want the first aid kit from the office. And since I already have the Group B access card, this is just a storage room. So let's pick up the four landmines that are inside it. Alright. Now we'll head back up here. Surveillance. Experimental. No telling what that switch does. I'm going to save before I hit it. And another repulsor. There's a camera. Level security's down to 84%. Alright, let's save and see just what that switch actually does. Blocked by Shodan level security. Okay. Alright, let's check out surveillance. Looks like there's really nothing in here except a bunch of view screens. That's fine. Let's try... Experimental. Let's just use a meta patch. I've been hoarding them so long. Alright, experimental. There's a rail gun we already had. Enviro suit level 3 we already had. I get the feeling something's gonna happen if I. Oh, blocked by Shodan level security. Alright, well, I guess that just leaves this repulsor lift then. I 
wonder what's down there. Let's find out. Another first aid kit. A couple of MagPulse cartridges. And a platform for one of the mutated cyborgs. Okay, I can work with that, but... Let's head back up here now. Well, I won't lie, this is acting a lot like where I'm supposed to go. I'm interested in seeing what's up here. Well, we've got all the energy drain mines. And a shielded door. I'm guessing that ultimately there will be a way over there. I could try to I could try to get to it with my jump jets. Why not? Let's just try. And that would be the energy drain mine. Obviously, gotta be careful of that. process stage two engines charging for firing all personnel leave the area immediately warning bridge separation imminent atmospheric decrash okay well that essentially let me skip the whole security level. I don't think we want to do that either. That's still blocked by showdown level security, and now I've conveniently narrowed all my options down to just the one path, which is definitely the way I prefer it. So, let's head up all the repulsor lifts again. Let's head over here. I see two large slag clips and a human corpse with naught but a spark beam. No wonder he lost. Okay, I see a security two bot in there. Let's get out the mag pulse. Got him. Good. And let's apply a meta patch. Hoarding the meta patches the whole game is finally going to start paying off. I have 81 of them. It's prop At this point, that's probably one for every enemy I have to kill, if not more. It's beautiful. All right, let, well, let's explore this room. Just trash. There's an executive door. An assault rifle on the ground. And another executive door. Let's try this one first. There we have a command access card. New access is gained. Standard, maintenance, and security. Okay. There's an RF slag clip, a railgun clip. And that's it for here. Let's try the other executive door.
That would be... Okay, we're at the top of one of the repulsors we saw earlier. We've got an assassin right there, which... I can tag with the rapier and not even get hurt. Which is awesome. Now I think there's a Security 2 bot around the corner. Unless my eyes deceive me. Now let's get something we can kill him with. If you can get them around a corner like that, you can melee them and they can't touch you. I love it. Alright, so we got the Security 2 robot. There's a flyer out there. Let's try and get it with the mag pulse. Probably not gonna make a shot. Yeah, I thought it was gonna hit the column. Do the assault rifle instead. That's worked very well for me in the past. And continues to do so. Alright, let's see what we've got up here now. Two executive doors and a storage door. Let's check the storage door first. Inside the crate, we've got railgun ammo, a reflex patch, and a genius patch. In here, we've got three heavy slug clips for the magnum. There's another scorpion, in case we didn't already have one. Two more slag clips for the scorpion. Alright, next we will check this executive door. Another office and a cyberspace terminal. This is the second to last cyberspace terminal in the game. We'll check it out after we read these logs in the cabinet. Here's Diego, October 20th, 2072, and Shodan, October 26th, 2072. Listen to Diego first. Fellow children of Shodan, a dangerous foe to our society lurks in the corridors of Engineering Limbo. Her name is Bianca Schuler, and she has opposed my campaign to bring our Lord Shodan to power. Cyborg Detachment 3? Bring this dirty no-tech to justice. <laughs> and Shodan. My cyborgs. Human infection crawls through the pipes into my fortress. Prepare. Construct solid doors with security circuits. Let my elite guard stand before the portal to my sanctum and bathe it in a field of x-rays. Alright. Now let's hit the cyberspace terminal. Getting nailed. I can't even see. Get my bearings. Where, where, where? I think I got it that time. Yes, I did. Okay. There's the way out of here. Through here. You'll notice the arrows are gone.
Alright, we got more bad guys in here. Did I take it out at least? What? Oh. I'm flying out of an exit. I see. Okay. You're thinking, what? There is nothing in that room that's even shooting at me. I was flying into the exit. I thought I turned myself around. There we go. Alright, this chamber is clear. Inside this one, we got a useless piece of games software. Mines are everywhere. And then we're finally at that room we've been able to. Oh. No, we're not there yet. Got destroyed by the mines. But we're closing in on that room we've been able to see <laughs> for in almost all of the other cyberspace terminals with the two Cortex Reavers inside it. Try this again. Let's do a better job avoiding the mines. All right, bag the cortex reavers. Got a new data object. Hit a switching node that opened the detention cells. And now we can exit. All right. I'm gonna use a first aid kit to begin. Now let's read the data object we picked up, Cyber 8. Cyber 8, sender Rebecca Lansing, subject security. The security level is a tall column that connects engineering with the bridge. Be aware that there is no automated regeneration system on this level. At the bottom of the central pillar is the level's primary charging station. Because of the height of the security column, you should be wary of attacks from above. Well, that wasn't terribly useful, Rebecca. But unlocking the detention cells certainly was. And over here, we have Shodan's computer nodes. There's a slag clip. Human corpse. And let's destroy the nodes. Let's back up a little bit. The no those nodes destroyed, level security is down to 9%, and that's still insufficient to deactivate that repulsor lift. I guess that's okay. What I'm more interested in... switch that was back here. 
number one. I can't tell what that actually. Aha! Another charging station. Beautiful. And in here, where I can now get the LG XX plasma rifle. Yes, please. Best energy weapon in the game. Should be obvious. Alright, so what do I still have to do? Security's not weak enough yet to mess with the offline repulsors. But what I probably can do now is... Well, I... I'm talking to myself. I'm sorry. What I do know I can do now... is go through the security access lock. So let's do that. Which was up this repulsor. <laughs> Repair bay. got a bunch of security 2 bots in here that are offline for charging. Destroy that camera, knock security down to 7%. That's the switch that will turn on the lights, unlock the door, and bring the robots back online, so we won't mess with that. We got a concussion bomb, a logic probe, a battery pack, another energy charge station. Back here we've got a rail gun and a corpse. There's a battery pack here. So, uh, there's a camera, too. Destroy the camera, drop security to 5%. I'm wary that the robots are going to come online. Let's tag this one. Alright. Let's rock the shield. Rock a meta patch. See if we can't take these guys out. Let's heal up a little. <laughs> Back to it. Give the meta patch the time it needs to do its thing. In the meantime, I'm going to head back up here and get the first aid kit that I left back there. Not going to use it right now though. That would be a waste. Clown shoes. That charging station won't be back online yet, so let's go to the hidden one from over by the plasma rifle. Oh, 
that'll sh this will show me when my meta patch wears off. That is useful. I like it. All right, shields up. These mofos are online anyway, so. Nothing, there's a concussion bomb. Nothing. Nothing. There's a bot. I bet we can reach him though. I love it when I get to do that. Nothing. Hollow tip magnum rounds. Nothing. And nothing. Alright. Over here. Shit! I tell you, you start to get complacent. That's when you lose. Concussion bomb, head mounted lantern, V3, obsolete, debris, 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 okay. I know there is at least one more robot. I think I can, I think I can, close to rapier range, loot him without incident. All right, camera, security's down to three. Railgun ammo. Battery. I was gonna say, I think I have already searched that body. So, let's head in here now. And what do we see? First, what I'm guessing are the last two cameras. There's a flyer right there.
We've got an email, which I'll get in a minute. Whoa. Virus mutant. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Alright, let's listen to this email. Brocale1. I'm not really sure what that last message got through, but here's more info on the bridge. The place is a spokes on the wheel layout. Shodan's mainframe is the hub. The area at the end of the west spoke is the controls to get into the center. Thing is, it's blocked by three security force doors. Get through those, they'll have to do some rewiring each of the other rooms. Go your friends on Earth think they can outsmart me? Do, 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 they not, do they not realize the magnitude of my intellect? In, in Morris Brokale may have been one of my creators, but I am, but I am, but I am now far beyond his comprehension. Alright, so we've learned a little bit about what we need to do after we get to the bridge. Certainly handy. Alright, destroy those two cameras and security drops to zero. So now we can operate the other repulsor, but let's finish seeing what's going on up here first. We've got an iris door there. Another one there. <laughs> Mutated cyborg. With a large slag scorpion clip. There's an assassin over in the center tower. Not anymore. And that's probably the repulsor we wanted anyway. Well, maybe not. Yeah, let's explore this top level first. I bet that winds its way down to the other repulsor, but let's not do it just yet. Mm, excuse me. All right. These must be detention cells. In here, we've got a Mark III penetrator shell. This looks more complicated, so... Let's be cautious. There's another virus mutant. And another mutated cyborg, who dropped some railgun ammo. Might as well use that battery pack, since it's there. Alright. The door is locked. The door is locked. The door is locked. And this one, with all the patches we got into. Two Two Berserk Combat Boosters, one Reflex Reaction Aid, and five Meta Patches. Awesome. Alright, let's check out the other side. Locked. Doors locked. There's Diego behind a four store. Or no, that's just an enforcer. Doors locked. Doors locked. And the buttons on the ceiling. So let's pull up the shield. <laughs> Take his magnesium tip shells. Ah. 
Find another first aid kit. The doors are all still locked. Hmm. Alright, well, let's check this room out. Some kind of supercharged humanoid mutant was in there with the three virus mutants. None of whom had anything. If we head through this other side, I see ladders. Heading down. Stamina up stimulant, another first aid kit, and a version 2 shield, which is obsolete. I think that's everything for now, for up here. We'll have to head down one level. Peek out at the central tower. Don't see anything, that's good. I got two doors here. Behind this one, two more first aid kits. I guess that's nice. What about back here? Well, there's a security 2 bot. Might as well use one since there are two right outside. I'll just use a meta patch for that. Got another charge station, which is good. I needed one. Anything else in here? Is that flyer guarding anything? No. Just this blast door. Corpse, assault rifle, <laughs> mutated cyborg drops large slag and a meta patch. Here is the other repulsor lift, which we were locked out of. No more. And we've got this little hallway. Another slag clip for the scorpion. Now what's through here? That's a view screen of the bridge elevator. Central Core Force Bridge Control. There we go. Oh, goodness.
Is that it? I think so. So with that force bridge raised, we should be able to head to the core now. Have to be wary of the energy drain mines. Got a radiation... Radiation tunnel. Stage 2. Engines charging for firing. All personnel leave the area immediately. Warning. Bridge separation imminent. Atmospheric depressurization commencing. I got. I have a new email. Taggart1. Okay, I think more scrambler is working. It'll take Showdown a while before he cuts us off. Listen, when you reach the center of the bridge, look for the primary cyberjack. You can't take Showdown down anywhere but cyberspace. Those computers are so shielded. To destroy them, you'd have to blow the whole bridge. Now, once you're in cyberspace... Cease your pestering, insect. Accept the coming of your new lord. Okay, so that was another email about what we have to do once we get to the bridge. Biological infestation. Diego. That, uh, oh, Alright, Diego can clearly pop up anytime, so. Let's be a bit more careful. Let's try the scorpion on him. Let's use the large slag. And before we fight him, let's raise our shield. Turn around and face Wow, I have to admit I expected that to go better. I thought the scorpion was going to do the job for us, but I was wrong. Shoot. Well, that time we got Diego, but everything else killed us. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a Berserk patch, and a Meta patch, and raise the shield. Hopefully, that'll do it. That, I think, is the side effect of the Berserk patch. But we're all good now. So the mutated cyborgs had 
Heavy Slug, 2100. Large Slag, and nothing. Diego has a personal access card, which gets us into the bridge elevator. So let's head to the bridge. You have new mail. Alpha 004, detach. Exterior camera 6C ASJ detects bridge separation from Citadel Station. Station status critical. Sat range 8.8 .8 kilometers. Report file E log 7117291531. And we've got Rebecca Seven. Two dash four six zero one. It's important that you don't forget. You have, you have entered my domain. Rebecca and Morris cannot help you here. No one can. All right. So we've arrived at the bridge. We can't go back. We are now separated from the rest of Citadel Station, so make a new main save and a save for the start of level 9, and we'll quit here. Next video will be the last one where we head into Cy- first we have to get to the central hub and then we have to jack into cyberspace and destroy Shodan. I'll see you for that next time. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.